hood by putting your hands in the middle of the hood, putting the fork and the plate up on it. Then you come to the passenger side. Start on your passenger side. You know, on this particular truck, we're dealing with a uh, Detroit engine and the uh, alternator is the first thing you're going to mention. You're going to say my alternator is probably my secure, my crack damage missing or broken. There are no bare or frayed wires and there should be no more than three quarter of an inch plate when pressed on the belt in the center. Then you're going to point down to the right lower half of the motor, which is most of the time you can find a water pump, and you're going to say my water pump is probably my secure back crack damage or leaky, and it is gear driven. Then you're going to come over to the, the driver's side. Where is that the alternator and the water? Alternator and the water pump. Mm -hmm. And we'll review it again. Just giving you a preview right now. Then the technique I like to give you is from the top to the bottom, inside and out. And we'll start from the top and we'll say our uh, coolant reservoir is properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking, and it is filled to manufacture specification. Then our windshield washer reservoir, which is properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking, and it is filled to manufacture specification. Then we have our steering shaft, which is property mount secure, not crack damage or broken. Okay, anything that doesn't leak, that's mechanical, you say it is broken. Now with this, we're gonna say it shouldn't have more than 10 degrees of turn. Then we're going on the inside, and we're gonna to point to our uh, air compressor. How do I know it's the air compressor? Because it has the braided hoses running to it. And you're gonna say my air compressor is probably my secure, not crack, damage, missing, or leaking, okay? And it is gear driven. Then you have your oil fill and dipstick, which is probably my secure, not crack, damage, or leaking, and it can be filled to manufacture specification. Then you have your power steering pump. How do I know it's the power steering pump? Because we have a reservoir feeding fluid to it, and it feeding fluid to the gearbox for a better uh, con con control in the steering. So we're going to say our power steering pump. It is probably more secure, not crack damage or leaking, and it is gear driven. Then we come to our power steering pump reservoir and its hoses. It is properly more secure, not crack damage or leaking, and it is filled to manufacture specification. Then we go down and we have our gearbox. We want to say our gearbox is properly more secure, not crack damage or leaking. Then we're going to connect the steering parts together, which we have. Look over here and show you. We have our pipping arm, our drag link, our steering arm, and our tie rod. All properly mount secured, not crack, damaged, or broken, and they are tied together by three castle nuts or cotter pins. And you're going to point those out. Castle nuts look like a crown, and a cotter pin is a pin that sticks through it. Okay, you got one, two, this is a better view of this one here, and then three on the tie rod. Then you're going to go inside and point to the front and rear shackles of the leaf spring. You're going to say my front and rear shackles with my U-bolts are properly mounted secure, not crack, damaged, missing, or broken. And you should have no broken missing or shifted leaves. Then you're going to point to your shock and the mount. Copy mount secure, not crack, damaged, or leaking. Then come in, you have your brake chamber and its hoses. It is properly mount secure, not crack, damaged, or leaking. And what's connected to the brake chamber and hoses is the slack adjuster and push rod. Slack adjuster and push rod are not a property mount secure, not crack, damage, missing, or broken. And there should be no more than one inch of play when pulled upon with the brakes released. Then you're going to go inside and you're going to point to the drum and lining. Show you the drum and the lining. You see a drum and then you see a lining? See how thick it is? You're going to mention it should be properly mounted secure, not crack, damage, or broken. The drum should have no illegal wells and the lining should have no. Uh, oil or grease or debris. Then you're going to come to the tire. You're going to say the tire should be evenly worn, it should match, and it should be no less than 430 seconds of tread depth. There should be no bulges or no cuts, and the valve stem and cap 
should be present and it should be filled to manufacture specification and I can check it with a tire gauge. Then you want to say your rim and wheel inside and out should be properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, or broken, and it should have no illegal wells. Then you want to point to your lug nuts and say your lug nuts should all be properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, missing, or broken. There should be no shiny treads, no rust trails, or no oblong holes. Then you look at your hub seal. The hub seal should be properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and it should be filled to manufacture specification. Then come to the door, and you're going to say my door, hinge, and my mirror should be properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, missing, or broken, and the door opens and closes. Then you open it again, and you say my weather strip should be intact. Then you want to say my steps and my handheld is properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, missing, or broken. There's no debris on the steps, and it should be able to hold my weight. Close the door, and then you want to say my fuel tank should be properly mounted secured, not cracked, damaged, or leaking, and the seal should be intact, and there should be fuel in it. Then you move back to the uh, catwalk. And you're going to mention your catwalk should be properly mount secure, not cracked, damaged, or uh, missing or broken. And there should be nothing lying on the catwalk. And you're going to say it can hold your weight. And you're going to demonstrate. And when you come up here, you're going to point to your exhaust system. The exhaust system should be properly mount secure, not cracked, damaged, or missing or broken. There should be no soot or rust trails that would indicate a leak. My airlines, copy my secure, not crack damage or leaking. My electric lines, there should be no bare or frayed wires. My front and rear drive shaft should be properly mount secure, not crack damage, missing or broken, and there should be nothing wrapped around it. My frame and cross member, properly mount secure, not crack damage, missing or broken, and no illegal wells. My header board, it is properly mount secure, not crack damage or broken. My rivets are all intact, there's no holes in it, and it looks like it can hold the weight of the cargo. Then you come down from the catwalk, and then you're going to point to your fifth wheel. My fifth wheel is probably not secure, not crack damage, because it's broken, and it is properly greased. And there should be no gap between the fifth wheel and the apron. My fifth wheel release arm is probably not secure, and it is in a locked position. The base of it is called the platform. You're going to say my platform is properly mounted secure, not crack damage or uh, broken, and there's no illegal wells. Then you're going to ask the examiner which axle would you like for me to examine. And then you're going to come down and if he say the rear and come up underneath and point into the capture zone of the fifth wheel. And you're going to say the jaws, the locking jaws of my fifth wheel should be locked around the shank of the kingpin. Then you're gonna start talking about the airbag. Airbags are properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking. My shocks and mounts are properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking. My brake chamber and hoses properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking. My uh, shackles, um, my shackle and push rod, slack adjuster and push rod properly mount secured, not crack damage bent or broken and it should be no more than one inch of play when pulled upon with the brakes released. My drums and linings are properly mounted secure, not crack damage or broken. There's no illegal wells and the linings have no oil or debris. Then you're going to look up and you're going to say my cross members. It is properly mounted secure, no illegal wells, not uh, missing or broken. The floor, there's no holes in the floor and it can hold the weight of the cargo. Then you're going to come out. As you're coming out, you're going to say my mud flaps or splash guards, they can be called. They're not hanging too low to the ground. It is properly mounted and secure and is not missing. My butt space, which is the space in between the tires, it should be free of debris. Then you come back to the tire once again and say my tire should be evenly worn. There should be no less than 230 seconds of uh, tread depth. There should be no bulges or no cuts. And there should be uh, a valve stem and cap should be in in the present and it should be filled to manufacture specification and I can check it with a tire gauge. Then you go to the axle seal and say the axle seal should be properly mount secured, not crack damage or leaking, and it should be filled to manufacture specification. Then my lug nuts, properly mount secured, not crack damage, missing or broken. There should be no shiny threads, no rust trails, or no oblong holes that will indicate loosening. 
my rims and wheels inside and out. Pop them on secure, nice crack down so broken and there should be no illegal rails on it. My landing gear, pop them on secure in a fully raised position and the uh, crank is in the locked position. The side of my trailer, should pop them on secure. There's no missing rivets, no holes, and it can hold the weight of the cargo. My DOT reflector tape, it is clean and present. Then you're gonna ask the examiner, which axle would you like for me to examine? Then on this particular trailer, it doesn't have a sliding tandem, it has a stationary tandem. So you're gonna mention the stabilizing bar, which is here. You're gonna tell them the stabilizing bar should be properly mounted, secure, not crack damaged, missing, or broken. Then you're gonna ask the examiner which axle would you like for me to examine. And he's gonna say either the front or the rear. If he says the rear, you come to the back and you look between the bumper and start pointing out what is there. Now I like to say, see it, say it, because all trailers have something different on it. So if I look in there, I can see the uh, brake chamber. So I'm gonna say my brake chamber is properly mounted secure, not crack damage or leaking, and his hoses are not uh, missing or broken, and my slack adjuster and push rod is properly mounted secure, not crack damage, missing or broken, and there should be no more than one inch of play when pulled upon with the brakes released. I can see uh, shackles and U-bolts. You're gonna mention that the shackles and the U-bolts should be properly mounted secure, not crack damage, bent or broken. My leaf springs should be not shifted, missing or broken. I don't see any shocks. I don't see any airbags, so I'm not gonna mention that. I can see my drums and my lining should be properly mounted secure, not crack damage or broken, and it should be um, not worn dangerously thin and no oil or uh, debris on my lining. Uh, now that's all I see up under there. Yeah, you're gonna come back and you can say your door and my door tie. Okay, it is properly mounted secure, not crack damage or broken. Uh, my hinges are intact, my weather strip is intact, and the door latches and unlatches. Then my DOT bumper, which is properly mounted secure, not crack damage, bend or broken, and there's no illegal well. My DOT tape is clean and present. Then you're gonna come and say, I would do the same to the right side that I has done to my left side, and that completes the, this portion of the inspection.